first we have to pick a type, which is not so easy to do. Everybody has to be, you know, uh, interested in the title. Uh, the marketing and sales people want to like that title. We have to think it's going to be a good title for our export market. Uh, and it has to be something that gets the creative juices flowing on that play field designer, the game, the uh, rules designer, and even the mechanical engineers. So the play field designer is going to draw a play field. And he used to do this, by the way, on a big drafting table, full size with a pencils and eraser and all that. Computer has made things different. He does it on a computer now. He'll have discussed it with the software guys and with the mechanical engineers about what his devices might be and what how the game might lay out. And they'll come, you know, they'll they'll collaborate and come to some some ideas. But then that's built and played and shot for action. When maybe we'll make two different versions, a third version, you know, until we get something that we like. And at the same time, the rules guy is starting to do rules. The mechanical engineer on a SolidWorks, a three-dimensional uh, computer system, uh, is designing parts. We have a sound engineer who's programming. Maybe we'll buy some music for it. Maybe it'll be all our own created music by that sound engineer. Um, we will uh, have uh, we have artists that specialize in pinball and be working on it. a lot of art in, in a pinball machine, probably $100,000 of art in a pinball machine when you get done with all the screens and the artists and this and that. So it's, it's complex in that respect. And all, ultimately it should all come together at the end and we need to test it and tune it and, and, and make, it, make, make sure that it's fun and uh, therefore it's gonna earn some money.